the day is not about the dress. I know that might be a bit taboo to say, but your day is about your experience, and so that's what matters most. Hey y'all, I'm Catherine. Welcome back to my channel. I'm the owner of Evergreen Era Film and Photo, and I share content on the tube about elopements and how to plan and prepare for your dream elopement day. One of the most frequent questions I get is how to pick your wedding dress for an elopement, because they are a little bit different. So today I'm gonna help you with that topic. Let's dive in. So the first question you might have if you're not really aware of what elopements are these days, first thing, you can check out my other video where I go into more detail about this. I actually think it will pop up on this side of the screen, not this side, so right here. Go ahead and check that out. But just as a quick summary, elopements are now typically smaller celebrations. You can include your family, you can let them know, or friends or loved ones, but you can also just celebrate just the two of you. So it provides a celebration that is a little more flexible you can include some traditions if you want. You cannot. You can ditch tradition. You can adventure outside, which is mainly what my couples and I do. We celebrate in the out of doors. There's usually a lot of hiking, a lot of waterfalls, just adventure sports involved in that experience. An elopement can really be whatever you want though. If you want to elope at the courthouse or in a city, you can do that too. So in general, getting your dress is really going to depend on what you're doing that day and what type of elopement you are going to have. So I'm gonna go over some general things you're gonna to wanna to think about and then I'm gonna focus in a little bit more on my outdoor adventure elopic, <laughs> outdoor adventure elopement specific wedding dress picks. The four main things you're going to want to consider when picking out your elopement dress are the location. This is gonna make a really big difference in what vibe and what style of dress you wanna wear. You might wanna find something that really fits like a city kind of regal vibe, or if you're wanting a more like floral garden, fairy pixie vibe, the location that you've chosen for your Loma Day is potentially a really great inspiration point for what kind of dress you wanna pick. Then the second thing of course is the weather and the season that you've chosen. If you're going to have an elopement in the winter, you're really going to want to think about something that can keep you warm, can have layers put over it and still look really beautiful, something that might look very wintry and snowy. Those are gonna make a big difference than if you get some kind of like spaghetti strap, summery style wedding dress. Those aren't really gonna match, right? In the other options, if you're gonna be somewhere where it's really hot, you're going to want something that is maybe made out of a really light and breathable fabric so you're not gonna get overheated or just too hot. You really wanna be comfortable in your wedding dress throughout your elopement day, that is key. Ah, and that was the third one. Perfect, comfort. You wanna be comfortable, so find something that you can move around in that feels really good on your body, that isn't too tight or too big. You wanna feel comfortable and beautiful, of course. And then price is the third thing. A lot of couples who choose to elope aren't trying to spend a lot of money on a one-time thing. Really think about how much you wanna spend, how much that's worth it for you. If you are having an outdoor adventure style elopement, your dress is probably gonna get dirty. So you don't wanna spend a lot of money on something and then be worried all day whether or not it's gonna get dirty. You wanna just be able to enjoy your day, right? So figure out a price and a budget that feels really good for what you have planned. So moving into my outdoor adventure style elopements, you are going to want to plan to have a dress that is something that you can move around in. And this is very different from having a big city wedding or just a simple courthouse wedding walking around town, simple streets. You're probably going to be hiking, walking through mud, sand, snow, who knows? The options are limitless. You wanna be able to take big steps if you're having to hike up some trails with some rocks. You are gonna want your dress to be stretchy. You'll probably want your dress to have the ability to put some, maybe some leggings underneath. If it's going to be cold, that really makes a difference in keeping you warm in the early mornings, the late evenings, when you're staying out for the stars or for sunset. Think about how much it drags on the ground. Do you want like a super, super long train? 
behind you if that's potentially going to get snagged a lot as we move along. So of course you're going to consider all of those four things I listed above, but then you're also going to have to consider this adventure comfort aspect as well. My main top, top tip is just, you got to be okay with getting it dirty. Whatever you need to do, whatever dress you need to get, that you're going to be okay, that it gets whatever on the bottom. You might even decide to jump in a lake with it on. I have had a couple do that in the past. Make sure you pick a dress that's just going to help you have the experience you want to have. The day is not about the dress. I know that might be a bit taboo to say, but your day is about your experience. And so that's what matters most. And one final thing, if you're having an outdoor adventure elopement, you might potentially have to pack your dress. This is something that everybody seems to ask because you're like, how the heck do I get my dress up there? When you're choosing your dress, Maybe pick something that is easily rollable that maybe doesn't wrinkle as easily. There are certain fabrics that are less sensitive to being wrinkled. Or you can always put it in its dress bag and just hang it on the back of your backpack. I've had plenty of couples do that. It doesn't look as visually pleasing when you have photo and video of that, but it's a great way to just kind of leave the dress and potentially um, a suit or jacket for a partner all ready to go, <laughs> prepped, what did I say? Proper, properly packaged, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All hung up and I don't know. It'll just, you'll have your dress hung up, ready to go. You don't have to fold it or roll it or anything. That's the end of this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave any questions you have down in the comments below. I'm happy to respond with any other information I have. Like and subscribe if you want more elopement planning content. And I hope you have a good time picking out your wedding elopement dress. Have a good one.